clauses as adjuncts so we've talked about clauses finite clauses which can be used as subject or as, as object direct object embedded clauses very often function as adjuncts for example someone called to william when he was walking down the road so in this sentence when he was walking down the road is an adjunct clause i'll meet you at the station if i can so if i can is a conditional clause which is an adjunct clause so if we bracket them we find that someone called to william subject which is a noun phrase called to william which is a verb phrase william is a noun phrase and when he was walking it's a s bar sentence right it's an adjunct sentence so when clause is optional and serves to express the time of the activity of calling s sentence when is an a adjunct rather than a verb complement if we remove it there won't be any difference with the sentence the sentence still uh, be be very sound and grammatically correct so it is also a verb phrase adjunct because it is within the verb phrase it tells the time of calling right so adjunct sentences are uh, are uh, for the verb phrase rather than the sentence adjunct they, they are not sentence as focusing uh, and where wh question test show so when we focus we know that which is uh, a verb phrase adjunct sentence and which is a sentence adjunct it is possible to focus on s when for example it was when he was walking down the road that someone called to william so with with the help of focusing we have the s uh, when sentence in the focus with the use of it was so and it is possible to ask a ws questions about s when sentence when did someone call to william so you can say when he was walking down the road so when can be used as wh question the analysis in 122 is thus confirmed by these two test let's identify verb phrase adjuncts realized by embedded clause in the sentences so verb phrase adjuncts which are for verb not sentence adjunct when miss mrs carey passed the dissenting ministers in the street she stepped over to the other side of the road right so uh, when she uh, stepped over when she passed so we can know that it's a vp uh, s sentence when sentence if there was not time for this she fixed her eyes on the uh, pavement so if clause is conditional clause is related to the vp which is fixed the following sentences contain example of sentence adjunct realized by embedded clauses john will come back soon as far as i know so as far as i know is a sentence adjunct philips does not like it here if i'm not mistaken these are uh, sentence uh, uh, adjuncts right they actually related to or uh, tell the speaker's mood for the whole sentence as far as i know and if i am not mistaken right they are not related to the verb phrase rather they are related to the whole of the sentence john will come back soon and philip does not like it here so the italicized clauses above have a sentence adjunct not vp adjunct the two tests used above to distinguish between vp adjunct and sentence adjunct focusing and wh question can again be applied for example focusing it is not possible to focus on sentence adjunct whereas it is possible to focus on verb phrase adjunct right so we cannot say it is as far as i know that john will uh, come back so it will be incorrect 
डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन सेंटेंस जंग कैन नॉट बी क्वेश्चन विद डब्ल्यू एच आइटम सो वी हैव गॉन थ्रू विद टू टाइप्स ऑफ जंक्ट सेंटेंस जंक्ट एंड वी पी जंक्ट वी पी जंक्ट कैन बी फर्दर नोन विद टेस्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ फोकसिंग एंड डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन वेयर एज सेंटेंस जंक्ट कैन नॉट बी नोन दिस वे when will john come back as far as i know this is not possible so as i told you uh, sent sent there is a difference between sentence adjunct and verb phrase adjunct verb phrase adjunct sentences can be uh, can be known through uh, uh, the application of two tests focusing and wh question whereas sentence adjunct cannot be done so